Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Haz here, and today we have a new kind of video today because we got a sponsor. Thank you to Lollies and Co for sponsoring this video. But before I get there, they sponsored me and hooked me up with a whole bunch of candy. And there's some drinks in there, there's some exotic candies and some drinks I've never tried before. So in this video, we're going to review through all of them and rate them from 1 to 10. First, we'll go candy, then drinks. So, but before we start, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, enjoy this ad that I made for the company. I'm hungry. I'm really craving some lollies right now. Let's go get some lollies. We have arrived at the best lolly shop in Wynnum. Actually, screw that, in Australia. Lollies & Co. If you guys want to get your hands on this amazing range of lollies, the name of the company is Lolly & Co. If you want to go to their actual store, the address of their store is 116 Bay Terrace, Wynnum, Queensland. Australia, obviously. Social media is at Lolly and Co. underscore AU. You can find this on them on Facebook, Insta, or TikTok. And if you want to order online, their website is www.lollyandco.com.au. And they deliver Australia rides. So no, if you wherever you live in Australia, they will deliver to you. So guys, make sure you go cop yourself some candy. Hope you guys enjoyed that ad slash video skit thing off. So now we're gonna get into it. Um, I'm just gonna start it off with the things that I think is the most disgusting. Crickets. Ah. Uh, okay. We'll try them. We'll try them. They look really disgusting. I can't open them. All right, all right. I'll probably just try one from every type of candy and exotic things. I call this exotic food. Oh, I don't know if I want one. Oh, those look this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna say that to the end. So if you guys wanna see my reaction, <laughs> this is how I'm gonna get views. Wait till the end. All right, so we have one of these jelly things. I need scissors for that, so I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna also do that at the end. Uh, we have the two drinks right now, right here. Dr. Pepper, uh, Chubba Chub, and I also tried the Mountain Dew Spark, which I have already filmed, so this is coming later. We also have a pickle, a dill pickle. I'll, I'll leave that towards the end too, so make sure you guys watch that. All right, let's start here. So first we're gonna start with Fruit Gushers. Never never tried these ones before. Open it up. All right, I'm trying, trying the red one. Chewy. Mmm, there's stuff on the inside. Mm, that's actually really good. I'm gonna say eight and a half out of ten. I feel like there could be better things in here. Um, Swedish fish, one of my old time favorites. Let's get this open. So. Yeah, but make sure you stay to the end to watch me eat those crickets. Alright, green, my flav favorite flavor of Swedish fish. Pretty good, pretty good. Give that an 8 out of 10. These are still in the lead. Jolly Ranchers! I'll try them towards the end too, because they're more of a sucky. One. They're like UFOs. I've never tried these things before. So, you give them a try. Tastes like this, sounds like there's something in there. Do I have to break it open, or like, do I just eat the outside? Oh yeah. Hmm. 
The outside tastes like styrofoam, but the inside tastes like, um, pretty much just sugar on the inside. Not my favorite, but it was pretty good. Ooh, we got some Hershey Kisses. Also, guys, make sure you go check out the candy shop. If you live in Australia or live anywhere in Australia. If you live in Wyndham, go check it out. But if you live in Australia, go order online. Thank you, Lolly, Lolly, eh, Lolly and Co. for sponsoring this video, though. So, you got the first chocolates of the day. I've never had a kiss before. From a girl or a, or a chocolate one. That was really good. Oh, I didn't rate the UFOs. Um, the UFOs are probably a 4 or 3 out of 10. But the kisses? Solid 7.5. Sour Patch Kids. Watermelon. I've never tried watermelon. I don't think I've tried. Like, I've had Sour Patch Kids, but not like many in my life. I know they're really big over here. Also, the reason I'm only trying one from everyone is because I don't want to be fat and feel sick after this, so. We have the Sour Patch Kids. It's pretty good, that's pretty good. On the thing, it said sour, but it wasn't really sour. So for false advertising, I'm giving it a six. We also got some Swedish candy, as I got told. It's, kind of, it's meant to be cola flavored. So I'm gonna try it. They look like this. Oh, and that's good. That would be my new favorite. Yeah, I would, that's definitely an eight and a half out of ten. Alright, I'm gonna go grab some scissors and come back and eat these. Alright, we're back. Um, I tried green, right? I forgot they're called. Apparently, the candy lollies and go just call them jellies, so. Honestly. I've never had one in my life, so I don't know what to expect, alright? I cut off the lid. Do I just down it? Mmm. Oh. That's good. Oh my god. Oh, I love that. Um, oh, but the aftertaste isn't the greatest. I think that's a tough one. I'm gonna have to give it a eight, no, uh, seven point nine out of ten. Wasn't the worst. Wasn't the greatest. Like the great, the good, the start was it of it was good. All right, we got blue raspberry heads. I had to cut a little bit off because it was in the fridge by accident. I'm take care of it. Ah, I just dropped it. Right. Blue hair heads. This will take me forever to chew. But I've always loved hair heads. Blue though. Not the greatest. I'm going to have to give it a. 7.5 out of 10. Alright. Now. What you been waiting for? The dill pickle. The Jolly Ranchers. And the cockroaches. I'm going to save the Jolly Ranchers for last. Because I want a good, good taste. Oh. It feels weird. Ah. Oh. There's something. There's actually green stuff in it. Like, I think there's actual pickle juice in it. Am I meant to drink the pickle juice? Oh, no. No refrigeration needed. Oh, whoops, I already did refrigerate it. Alright. Oh. Oh. Whew. That smells like a pickle. It's apparently a candy thing, though. Reach into the bag. Oh, 
honestly, I'm not a biggest pickle fan. Alright. If I don't like it, I'll probably get to throw it out after this. Kidding. I'll finish it. Don't really like it. Four. Cockroaches. Alright guys, before I eat the cockroaches, make sure you like and subscribe for my reaction. Also, please go check, please tell your friends to subscribe. I really want to get to 100k, you know. I've been dreaming about a play button for a while, and I don't know how to open these. Alright, we got this. Alright. Oh, smell. I'm trying to grab one out. Oh, it feels so weird. Oh, look at that. Camera quality isn't the greatest on my phone, but. Oh. What flavor are they meant to be? Salt and vinegar. Okay. Put the rest back in there. Just so you can. Oh, it's April Fool's. I might go prank one of my parents with it. All right. It's good. To... Oh, God. Oh, it smells bad. All right. Make sure to hit the like button for my taste buds. Oh. Oh. You can tell I took a bite. Oh. 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 Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Two out of ten. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the... Oh, wait. I forgot the Jolly Ranch pot. So, this Jolly Rancher will conclude... Once I eat the Jolly Rancher, that will conclude the um, candy pot of this trying. So, next is the Dr. Pepper and the Chubba Chub. Also, the Spark Mountain Dew. Ah, God. I put this in the fridge when you're not meant to. And now it's just stuck to it. So. Oh, there you go. Got it. Mmm. Tastes much better compared to the other things I tried. Like the dill pickle and the... You know what I mean. Alright. So, thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the candy pop. The drinks pot, I will just film, like, soonish. Alright guys, see ya. Alright guys, welcome back to this second part of the candy and exotic thing, blah blah blah, trying, trying, uh, video. Uh, right now we're gonna start off with our first drink, the Chubba Chub grape flavor. Then we're gonna try the Spark, and then we're gonna try the Dr. Pepper. So, make sure you stay tuned. And, yeah, so, first... Let me know down in the comments, why do people tap it again? I just, I saw someone do it, and now I just, like, start doing it all the time. Oh, God. Is this me? Or is, does anyone else have the problem of opening up cans because they have no nails? Just give me a sec, guys. Just trying to get this thing open. Hey, there we go. I think we got it. Got it open. Cool can design. Oh my god. That's an... That tastes so good. That's like a 9.2. That's the best tasting thing I've tried. It tastes like if the lollipop was put into a soft drink. Alright guys, stay tuned for this Spark and then the Dr. Pepper. Mountain Dew Spark flavored. Never tried it before, so let's see how it is. I love Mountain Dew, but I haven't tried this one before. It tastes like a Skittles and Mountain Dew had a had a baby. It's pretty good. I give it an eight out of ten. All right, guys, this will be the last thing I'm trying for this video. Dr Pepper. Apparently, it's a Jurassic World edition, which I thought came out a while. So maybe this is. I don't know. Outdated can, but it's still in date, you know? 
Like you, it's still in, still in date. You can still drink it. It's just the can. Might, they might have ran out of normal Dr. Pepper can, so I have to go back to the original. The old ones. All right. Let's try it. That one opens way easier. This is my first time ever trying a Dr. Pepper. So. It smells nice. Ooh, that's nice. It tastes like cherry. All right. I'm going to have to get that an 8.9. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, make sure you go check out Lolly, Lolly & Co. If you live in Wyndham. Or if you live in Australia, go purchase their lollies on online. They will deliver anywhere in Australia. So make sure you like and subscribe. And thank you, Lolly & Co. for sponsoring this video. Peace.